Hello everyone, uh, welcome to another school holiday video. My name is Adrienne and I'm from the town of Walkerville. Thanks for watching this one. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make two uh, games that you can play at home with your mum and dad or if you've got a brother or sister or maybe a neighbour. Um, so the main thing we're going to use to make these games is paper plates but we've got other bits and pieces that you should hopefully have around your house so you can make them very easily. So I'm going to start off by doing a paper plate maze. So what we're going to do is use the paper plate as the base for our maze and then we're going to build up the barriers with our paper straws. So to start off with I'm going to uh, draw a outline of what I want my maze to look like, keeping in mind that you want to have a start point where your little marble will go into the maze and then have a track where it will go around and then an out point where it comes out at the end. So you might want to make some dead ends or, or some tricky bits. Uh, it's completely up to you. So I'm just going to use my pen here and trace out a bit of a an outline. I'm going to do a square maze but you could do a circular one with the size of the plate or if you've got a, an oval shaped plate you could do an oval one as well. So I'm going to put my start here which is why I've left that open there. I'm just going to draw along this that way when I'm sticking my straws on it makes it easier for me to know where to put them. So I've just drawn out a little example there for you, but you can do whatever you want. You can do several different ones if you want. Have a bit of a go and see what creative ways you can make your maze with. And so next I'm going to take my straws and then a pair of scissors. Now you might need mum or dad to help you with this cutting. I'm just going to hold the scissors up to where the maze is and cut along where I need each line to end and I've got lots of different coloured straws, oh look that one fits perfectly there so you can mix up the different colours do another one there and then I just found these straws at the supermarket but you might already have some at home in your pantry you can use other things as well, you could use um, sticks you find in the garden it's a bit short, a bit long or you could use um, bits of pasta, like the penne, the tubes of pasta. You could glue them along the lines. You might want a bit of a bigger paper plate if you're doing that. Or maybe even if you've got some wool or some pencils that you're not using anymore, you can really use anything. It's up to you. bit loud wasn't it? So I'm just going to keep cutting, measuring and cutting. I'm just holding them up to try and guess how long it is. You want to make sure when you're doing this that the uh, marble will still fit through all the gaps that you're creating. So that's straws out to where I want to put them so now I need to start gluing them on. Now I'm going to use a little bit of PVA glue to do this but you could just use sticky tape if you had tape. And I'm going to get gluing and then I'll show you what it's like once I've finished. So I'm just going to actually I'm going to put the glue just along where my line is and then put the straw back down. You might even be able to use a glue stick if you have a glue stick at home.
So now I have finished gluing them all on. They're still a bit wet, so I'm gonna wait for them to dry a little bit, but you can see where my pattern is now. So this is where the ball's gonna come in, make its way through here. You've gotta make sure you don't go into that bit and then around and out the end. So while you're waiting for it to dry, you could decorate your plate. You could paint all around here, draw around here. Um, put your name on it, do whatever you want. I'm just going to do a simple S for start at the start and a F for the finish. And then I'm going to take one of my uh, little marbles and see if I can get it through. Oh, oh. Whoops a daisy. Oh, and out the other end. So there you go. That is the little paper plate maze that you can make. Maybe you can make one for a friend and then you can trade and try and do each other's. Um, but very easy to do at home. And then the next one I'm going to show you is a paper plate ring toss. So this one um, is a game that you can play with other people or by yourself. So to do this one, we're gonna take a um, piece of cardboard for the base. You could actually just use one of the paper plates if you wanted, but I've got a nice big bit of cardboard. And then you need a, um, a cardboard tube. So this is from a piece of uh, roll of wrapping paper, but you could use one if you've got um, paper towel in the kitchen, or you could get toilet paper ones and stick them all together. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint my tube a little bit. So I'm just going to grab um, some paint. I've got some brushes here. So you can paint whatever you want on it. I'm just going to paint some rings. You could be a lot more creative than this. You could do a little scene with people or a garden. So I'm going to let that dry first, put that down, and while we wait for that to dry, I am going to take some extra paper plates. Now we need to turn these into rings because at the moment they have no holes in the middle. So to do that, I'll just fold it in half, just roughly, not firm, and cut. to help you with the cutting if that's easier. tubes, little rings, but you can do as many as you want. Um, make sure it's an even number so one team has two and then the other team has two. And I'm just going to paint these so that um, we know which teams is which. So I'm just going to do some stripes along them. But you can do whatever you want. You could write your names on them.
I have finished painting my rings now, two with green and two with pink. And hopefully by now your tube is finished drying. So to stick this to the base, we're going to just use sticky tape. So you're going to stand up. Uh, but you can use, you might be able to use glue if you've got it, even a hot glue gun, but we're just going to be make it easy and use some sticky tape. So I'm just going to take a bit and put it on the side and then hold it in the center and stick it to the base. Go around and do lots of those. I've got a nice blue coloured cardboard base but if you had just a plain coloured one you could decorate that too with paint or textures or whatever you wanted. So now that's stuck down I'm ready to play my ring toss so you could take it out into the back garden you might have more room there even down the park or you might just be able to do it in your lounge room and you put a marker on the ground and then throw them over and see how many you can get over, how many you might miss, and see who wins, hey? So uh, that was my two activities for you to make at home, uh, games that you can play with your brothers or sisters or neighbours or um, mum and dad, uh, or even by yourself if, you're, um, if you want to play by yourself. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, please let us know in the comments below if you were watching or if you liked it or any other game ideas, things you might be able to make with things that you have at home. Um, and watch for all our videos this school holidays. We'll have four in total. So uh, look forward to seeing you next time. Bye, guys.